Hi guys, it's Antoinette the Confident Woman and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another try on haul. Now I know I haven't done a video like this in a long time but I have been set a challenge and I've accepted it. So I've got a high street haul. Let me know by the way if you want me to do like a designer version of the haul that I've done today. A high street haul and the challenge is hide my bum. Now this video was kind of instigated when I went to like a women's conference and I got speaking to someone and she was like every time she's on stage because she's on stage a lot she's so insecure about her bum and the fact that everyone's looking at her bum she just doesn't like her bum and she's insecure about it and you know what I can relate there's a lot of us out there different shapes different sizes we don't all like certain parts of our body and sometimes we just want to cover it up or just not let it be the focus of attention so my challenge is to find a top a top that covers the bum slash preferably upper thigh area without it being clingy and I was like oh my gosh because a lot of the kind of clothing that I wear that cover my bum I would tend to go for like a smock dress you know those smock dresses that you can wear leggings under I find that more comfortable but for a top it's like Mm, because it means that I'm gonna have to go down the route of wearing something oversized and I run away from that now for me wearing oversized is like going backwards but I took the challenge on and I've done it so I've gone to a couple of my favorite high street stores my tried and trusted Zara you know I couldn't do a high street haul without Zara River Island I did ASOS yeah oh gosh everything's still out ASOS and finally boohoo so touch and go with boohoo so we're gonna try everything on and see how it goes so let's get straight into the video now i think i'm gonna start with zara being that they're my favorite and all when it comes to high street i just find that their fitting is like more aligned with my size so um yeah all the pieces that I bought are currently in season, so spring, summer, and they're trend pieces. But I try to go with pieces that, even though they're in trend right now, you can wear them next season, time after time, year after year. So I was thinking about a lot of things while I was shopping. Okay, so the first two that I got from Zara are actually white shirts, and white shirts are trending. Now this is a bit sheer, but I'm gonna try it on for you guys. I actually got something very similar in River Island as well. I'll we'll try that on. And then this is kind of like a puffed sleeved white shirt. So let me try these on for you. Okay, so this is the first shirt slash top. I'm gonna move back a bit so you can see it. Um, I don't know what I think about it. Just for reference, all of the clothes that I bought, they're size six with the exception of two. I think two were size eight, but I generally am a size six, especially in the bottom. Sometimes I'll go upper size with my top because I'm kind of like this shape but everything with the exception of two items are size six so um this is the top I don't know like I said before oversized I liked it online like I liked it on the model because it's kind of cinched in at the waist here with these detailings and obviously look it definitely covers the bum that's my bum here and it covers it it goes all the way down there to like my mid thigh but i don't know i feel like there's just too much material up here you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about it if i should keep it or if i should take this back maybe if i i don't know let me see if i kind of like do that hmm. let if i put my black belt on i don't know if it makes a difference it might make a difference i brought my belts here just in case belting this does it make a difference oh. like i said guys let me know in the comments box but this is the first white shirt Ugh. to keep or to return i kind of like it but i'm just like it's just is there too much material going on here especially like you know flappy flappy turkey <laughs> but yeah that's the first item let's move on okay so this is the second top from Zara um it's a lot more sheer than the first top I mean for the price I'm not sure about it because I feel like I might have to wear a top under it I don't know if it's coming up on the camera like 
look it's really see-through but I do like the detailing and again for me it's this whole overly sized bagginess that I'm just kind of running away from I'd rather something like really cinch me and I might have to if I keep this I might have to belt it as well but definitely definitely covers the bum goes all the way down you know what both of the shirts that I've just shown you you can actually wear this as a dress in summer I don't know what you guys think about this between this one and the first one what do you think let me wear a belt with this let me try my brown belt for this if I cinch this in let me know what you think okay just quickly put that on so there we go with the brown belt obviously it makes a huge difference but I'm just I'm still thinking do I want it is it that deep Uh, uh, yeah you guys can decide for me because I'm not quite sure okay so we're moving on to River Island and I thought since we're doing white shirts we might as well just do this this is the last or the third white shirt that I got and this one's from River Island very similar to the last one I wore in Zara, from Zara but it has a lot more embroidery I don't know if you can see that up on the camera a lot of embroidery going down here it is kind of sheer but not as sheer as the zara one and it's very straight on me so i'm not sure about this again i would have to cinch this in if i was going to keep it but i'm not sure about the shape of it i don't think it does me any justice i don't think it's flattering at all Ugh. just for reference let me put a belt round so that you guys can see and then you can decide which one i should keep a b or c so this is these are all three of the white shirts. As you can tell, white is very much, very much in. But I do like the detailing and I do like the embroidery. So this is the River Island one. And, and then I could always wear it with the button up because of the detailing on the buttons, I think. And it's on the cuffs as well, the sleeves. That's me. So let me know what what shirt you guys prefer now still on river island i did kind of cheat here i've got myself a cardigan when i saw this i was like nah i need to buy this i know cardigans are not tops so this is kind of like a cheat but it does cover the bomb so i just thought let me let me and this goes all the way past my ankle just a bit but i just thought oh i really do like this look at this i know how i'm gonna style this up probably not with jeans i can still wear this with jeans but i know exactly how i want to wear this in my head with maybe like leather pants or something leather trousers or leather leggings something like that this is a cardigan and it's in river island so if anyone's interested in it i just think it's it's got that spring vibe so it's still a bit cold but the sun's breaking through yes come close up Now, moving on to ASOS, I don't know if you've noticed, but denim is back in full force, like full force. And going with the challenge, it covers the bomb. So here's like an oversized denim jacket. This one's from ASOS. Let me just go all the way up. And I like the fact that it's like the edges are raw. It's got raw edges. Just trying to think how I would style this up. I probably would wear this denim on denim because like denim on denim is back in or I can cinch it in on the waist again with a belt or something you know just giving you guys ideas here on how to do this but this is definitely something that is not clingy and it does cover the bum and upper thigh region so and let me see can I take this off yeah so I'll roll up the sleeves if I was gonna style this off roll up the sleeves like so kind of i'm rushing here but you get the drift and then just kind of like you know do my thing do my thing give me a bit of shape but before i'll show you this is the asos one the denim's not bad it's not the best quality but for the price it's not bad so still on denim this one is from boohoo and it's already going back I'm not even gonna, I just want you guys to see this. This is the problem I have with places like Boohoo. Like, why am I seeing the stitch? Can you see that? Let me 
pull that right up. Why am I seeing the stitch of the tag behind? I hope the camera's picking it up. Things like that grind on me. <laughs> and it's heavy, the denim is heavy, but the quality is not great. So what's the point? Why is it heavy when the quality is not great? So this is like a washed out blue denim. It's got ripped details all around the jacket slash top. The base, ripped details all down there. But I really don't like it. So for me, it's a no, but I'm still gonna show you guys. If I was gonna wear something like this, let's say I liked it, I'll roll up the sleeves as well simply because of my shape and my size i don't want to feel drowned in what i'm wearing i don't want it to like overwhelm me so i have to if i'm not cinching it in i have to do something basically but for me it's a no just letting you guys see this okay yeah this is the other boohoo one now this one when i saw this on the model it came all the way down to her knees but this does not look like it's going to come down to my knees let me put it on Okay, so I picked this because I was like, okay, this might work with me simply because it has a belt. It comes with a belt to tie you in and to give you a bit of shape. So as you can see, it kind of dramatically changes how it looks. Um, again, the denim um, quality is questionable, but I don't mind wearing something like this. This is not bad at all. I did think it was a bit longer, so let me go up. See, it only kind of skirts the bum a bit. It stops there, but on the model, on the website, it went all the way down to her knee, so that's a bit funny. But this is how it looks. Yeah, so I think I'll, let me know. Let me know if I should keep this one, if you guys like it on me. I don't think this one's bad at all compared to the other one. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And then this is the last one with Boohoo. This is black denim. Told you denim is very much in right now. Um, this one is three quarter length, so it doesn't, the sleeves don't go all the way down. It comes, kind of comes up to there. Again, with me, with my denim, I tend to roll them up anyway. And then it's got ripped details all the way through, all the way on the arms. Rip details everywhere. Hope it's showing up on the camera. And then, yeah, pockets. And does it cover the bum? Kind of. This one skirts the bum as well. So, uh, this is the black denim from Boohoo. And finally, guys, this is a top from ASOS that I saw. I thought it was really unique and different. I liked the sleeves. But I think I would size up because so this is a six and I feel restricted. So I think I might go for an eight, even though it's well fitted. Sorry about that. Um, I like how it kind of goes in and then comes out again. Let me move all the way back so you can see. But this is my favorite bit, like this detailing, like asymmetric, is that what you call it? And it, does it cover the bum? It does cover the bum. So I just like how it's different. And I saw it on ASOS, but I think I might have to size up because the way it's designed, it's just, I'm quite small up here anyway, and it's just making me look smaller because it's so tight. And I feel like I'm like, <sighs> yeah, so I might have to get an eight, but I'm thinking if I get an eight, is it gonna look the same, like as fitted as it does now with a six? So this is how the six looks. I like the sleeves a lot, I really do. And this whole detailing thing going on here. So I just thought it's quite different. So why not add it in? I think I think I managed to get quite a few pieces that are on trend and that cover the bum from at least four different high street stores. So let me know how you think I did. Let me know what pieces you think I should keep. And let me know if you want videos like this as well. Like I can come up with different challenges, like different parts of the bodies that you guys might be insecure about. Oh, get on it. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the video here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do.